Yesterday, I spoke with Governor DeSantis for some time. My team has been in constant contact with him from the very beginning. And, uh, and the mayors of Tampa, St. Pete's, uh, and uh, Clearwater. And my message has been absolutely clear, is that, uh, that we are on the alert and in action. We've approved every request Florida has made for temporary assistance, emergency assistance, long-term assistance that I've received. I made it clear to the governor and the mayors that the federal government is ready to help in every single way possible. And I want to repeat what I said yesterday to the people of Florida. The storm is incredibly dangerous, to state the obvious. It's life-threatening. Evacuate when ordered. Be prepared. The storm warnings are real. The evacuation notices are real. The danger is real. And when the storm passes, the federal government is going to be there to help you recover. We'll be there to help you clean up and rebuild, to help you get Florida get moving again. And we'll be there at every step of the way. That's my absolute commitment to the people of the state of Florida. And if you forgive me, I want to add one more warning. That's warning to the oil and gas industry executives. Do not, let me repeat, do not, do not use this as an excuse to raise gasoline prices or gouge the American people. This small temporary storm impact on oil production provides no excuse, no excuse for price increases at the pump, none. If gas companies try to use this storm to raise prices at the pump, I will ask officials to look into whether price gouging is going on. America is watching. The industry should do the right thing.